We're going to use the following slides to look at igneous close, uh, rocks up close and personal. Now you know the igneous rocks form from molten minerals, ones that have literally been melted and then have a chance to solidify. And as they solidify, they grow crystals. And depending on how quickly they solidify, depends on how quick those crystals grow. Now, sometimes those grow crystals have time to grow right into each other and interlock. And that actually makes the rock a lot stronger because they lock together and they can't move apart easily so the rock becomes extremely hard so that interlocking is important we're going to have a look at that the other thing you're going to be looking at is the different colors that are in the rocks you don't always see these but when you look at them under a microscope you can actually see the different types of minerals that form the rock and each one looks slightly different they have their own different colors and textures and patterns so we're going to look at them as well now one big thing you can tell just from looking at a rock with your eyes is whether we call it mafic or felsic and that just depends on what type of minerals make it up. Um, mafic rocks have very dark minerals in them, felsic rocks have very light minerals in them. Here is bronzite. Now this little guy here looks beautiful to um, to look at and you can just see some flecks of gold and some brown but when you actually look at him under a microscope he's a lot more colorful than that so this is bronzite up close and personal each one of these different colors is a different mineral salt and as you can see they're fitting together like this and that fitting together is what I mean by interlocking so this means that this rock has had enough time for the crystals to grow into each other so it's most likely that it was actually formed underground because if they cool really quickly that sort of interlocking it doesn't usually happen here's an example of a um, rock that is formed on top of this of the earth often in the very top of volcanoes where the lava comes out it's called basalt you see this everywhere around glasshouse mountains and sometimes the rock cools so quickly that the crystals don't even have time to form at all you just have areas of what looks like black in in the rock um, you see you only get light coming through the crisp through the rock and showing up different colors if it has grown a crystal if it has just solidified without growing into a crystal the light actually just gets blocked and can't come through so this is what basalt looks like to us and this is what basalt looks like under a microscope tiny little crystals lots of area of black here which means no crystals even got to form at all and notice how these little crystals don't have a chance to interlock together they're all separate so that tells me that this rock cooled really quickly its crystals are really small it's an extrusive rock and it is because it's found in lava flows on top of volcanoes here's another example this is granite now this is a highly prized rock we use it in our kitchen counters all the time and it's found usually in eroded earth or we have to dig it up from the ground so that's already a, a clue as to where it actually formed in the first place but let's have a look number one I can see with my eye crystals even here in the rock okay whereas with basalt you can't see a lot of crystals you can see an awful lot of just black area here not a lot of crystals granite crystals have a look up close crystals lots of different types of minerals in this granite here and yes they actually interlock and form into each other and fit to each other so granite there's your proof there it was formed slowly over time it's going to be an intrusive rock it was formed deep under the earth here's latite now this little guy is found on surfaces around volcanic eruptions so um, usually they find it a little way away from the volcano sometime like it's been thrown in the air well let's have a look at it up close I can't see any really big crystals here with my eye so that's my first clue I think it might be an extrusive rock because it doesn't look like it's grown many crystals up close though you can see it has got crystals in here and some of them sort of fit together but not a lot there's an awful lot of black here so this little guy here is definitely an in extrusive rock it was formed on the surface and it cooled really quickly so now use that information to go and have a look at more igneous rocks with your uh, rock exploration kits